In the context of sports, when you hear the word GOAT, who comes to your mind? If you're an NBA fan, you might be thinking Michael Jordan or LeBron James. If you're an NFL fan, Tom Brady must have immediately come to your mind. If you watch baseball, you may be thinking Babe Ruth or Barry Bonds. If you're into the NHL, you may be thinking of Wayne Gretzky. And while these are all valid answers, perfectly backed up by the player's resume, career, and accomplishments, many people wonder, who is the GOAT of all GOATs? Across every single sport across the world, who reigns supreme? Is it Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, Babe Ruth, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo? But the answer to who is the true GOAT of all GOATs is an easy answer, and it is none other than the king, Strip Weathers. Strip Weathers, you've got about him? How can you be the GOAT? You got somebody that's tied with you? You got somebody that's tied with you? Strip Weathers has seven piston cups. Now I can just see the salty, angry faces from those Doc and Lightning McQueen fans. But for all of you old heads out there, we're done with the 50s. Yes, I know Doc paved the way for other greats after him, most specifically Lightning McQueen. And yeah, winning three Piston Cups straight is a very impressive accomplishment, but those three Piston Cups does not hold a candle to Strip Weather's seven. Not to mention the era that Doc Hudson raced with. He literally was racing against tow trucks and mail carriers. Strip easily played in one of the most competitive eras we've seen. Now, in Shades of Derrick Rose, a lot of you old heads will bring up the fact that Doc Hudson had that career-ending accident in the 1954 Piston Cup, and many point to say that if he did not sustain this accident, his dominance would continue over the next couple years and win at least 10 more Piston Cups. But this is not an argument of hypotheticals. What happened happened, his accident occurred, and his career and legacy were damaged because of it. Okay, now for you casual newer gen fans who are saying Lightning McQueen clearly is the GOAT. While I think you could make more of an argument for McQueen than you could Doc Hudson, McQueen's career was way too short-lived. Although McQueen won 7 Piston Cups in just 12 seasons compared to Strip's 37, you could say that Strip Weathers was at the top of the game for a much longer time. Which is why Strip has more all-time wins, another reason that Strip is really the true GOAT. Not to mention, one of McQueen's Piston Cups seriously is a Mickey Mouse Piston Cup. McQueen was choking on the biggest stage against the new gen cars, only to be bailed out by Cruz Ramirez. Let's be honest, that Piston Cup is all Cruz's. McQueen should get absolutely no credit besides being a mentor. McQueen is lucky that they considered him to be a co-winner of that Piston Cup. Now, of course, you have those people saying that, well, McQueen could have won a Piston Cup as a rookie, which has never been done before, if he didn't assist Strip Weathers after that brutal accident in that Piston Cup. But once again, hypotheticals are hypotheticals. They didn't actually happen. McQueen did not win a Piston Cup as a rookie. End of story. He chose kindness over legacy, which morally, great for him. But from a career-to-career -career comparison, it definitely damages his reputation. So pretty much that covers all the bases as far as the racing goat. I mean, you'll see some people say, but Jackson Storm could be the future. He could, very possible, but as of right now, you still have to give it to the King Strip Weathers. Also, you'll see the occasional bait by a lot of Chick Hicks fans saying, oh, Chick Hicks is clearly the number one of all time. When in reality, he pretty much is just the Draymond Green of racing. So end of discussion, Strip Weathers is the racing GOAT. Now how does he compare to other GOATs of major sports leagues? Well, let's take them one at a time and do a comparison. Let's go to basketball first. Let's have a battle of the Kings. The King Strip Weathers and the King LeBron James. Both players absolutely known for their longevity. LeBron is in his 21st season and still playing at a high level. And obviously everybody knows about Strip's impressive 46 years of racing. Double the longevity of LeBron even. LeBron has four championships, Strip Weathers has seven. So not only does Strip Weathers beat LeBron in what he's known for, longevity, but as you can see, he also succeeds in just the overall accomplishments as well. Clearly, we can see which king is better here, and it's Strip Weathers by a pretty large margin. Yes, LeBron still has some playing time in him, but can you see him really playing another 25 seasons? Yeah, I didn't think so. But obviously, LeBron James is not the only person in the NBA that is considered the GOAT by many people. We have to look at Michael Jordan. Now, Michael Jordan versus Strip Weathers is actually a very interesting comparison here. Michael Jordan's prime rivals the best primes in sports history, and you can make a case that Jordan's prime was better than Strip Weathers' prime. In six straight seasons that he was playing for, he won six NBA championships. Obviously, his impact was known after he left the league briefly for two years, and clearly the Bulls suffered greatly because of that. 
On the other hand, you look at Strip Weathers Prime, which was probably in the early 70s if I were to pinpoint it. Multiple Piston Cups, but not to that dominance and consistency we saw from Michael Jordan in the mid to late 90s. So if you're arguing who has the better Prime, you could easily say Michael Jordan. I think that is a valid argument to make. But once again, we are looking the greatest of all time. At the end of the day, when you compare their two legacies, who stands on top, who accomplished more in their career, and it's clearly Strip Weathers. Despite Michael Jordan's six championships run outside of those years it's a clean slate for him now obviously on the other hand while strip weathers did not win six piston cups straight like michael jordan did in seasons that he played for at least at the end of the day he won ups jordan by having seven championships not to mention he has the longevity that michael jordan could only dream of Playing from 1959 to 2005 is no small accomplishment. So Strip Weathers clearly is better than the basketball goats. Let's move on to the football goat, which I'm pretty sure all of us can agree is Tom Brady. Once again, two athletes known for their longevity. Brady played for 23 NFL seasons. Once again, not close though to Strip Weathers 46, literally doubling the amount of time that Brady played. Both GOATs have seven championships to their name each, and Tom Brady actually has more career wins with 286 wins compared to Strip's 211. With that being said though, racing's a harder league. To truly win a race, you have to beat out the 40 plus other racers racing at the same exact time, when obviously a win in football is just a matter of outplaying one team that you're playing against. So clearly, Strip's wins carry much more value, and I'm taking Strip's 211 wins over Brady's 286 wins all day. Once again, longevity is one of the things that Brady is most known for, and the fact that Strip literally, by the number, doubles his playing career, I think it's safe to say that Strip gets the edge on this one. Now we're on to baseball. The GOAT, most people would say, is Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth has a total of seven World Series. I guess seven is the magic number for all of these GOATs. But one thing that really gets lost in translation here is the time he played. Babe Ruth literally played in the early 1900s. He was playing with mailmen, fishermen, probably just random middle-aged dads coming off of the street. Let's just say Strip Weathers' competition is much higher, and he still managed to match Babe Ruth's championship count. This is an easy decision for me. Babe Ruth more paved the way for other baseball players while playing at a high level, and he does not have the same talent or drive that Strip Weathers has. Once again, Strip Weathers is making these other goats look absolutely insignificant compared to his own career accomplishments. And now we move on to hockey. Wayne Gretzky is usually considered the GOATS of GOATS, as he literally owns pretty much every single NHL record, and under absolutely no controversy, he is the clear number one. But how does he fare against Strip Weathers? Well, first of all, both of these incredible athletes played at the same time. I really envy the people who were alive during the 80s and 90s. Just imagine, you turn on some hockey, you watch the Oilers, and you see Gretzky on, and then all of a sudden you're switching to the Piston Cup to see Strip Weathers, two of the greatest athletes of all time playing in the same exact era. But what's funny is that even though their careers completely overlapped, Strip played 20 years before Wayne Gretzky started and six years after. Once again, his longevity is absurd. Gretzky is a four-time Stanley Cup winner, which does not hold a candle to Strip Weathers' seven Piston Cups. Just like how Wayne Gretzky pretty much owns all the major NHL records, the same thing is applicable to Strip as far as racing. But with that being said, you have to give the tiebreaker to the man who's won the championship most and has played for a much, much longer time. Strip Weathers once again reigns supreme. Now the final opponent to determine if Strip Weathers is really the GOAT of GOATs is Messi. Now you can make an argument for Ronaldo, but be honest, Messi's World Cup win does put him above Ronaldo all time. But looking at Messi's accolades, he really has succeeded at every level. At his time in Barcelona, he won multiple Club World Cups, Champions Leagues, La Liga's, Copa del Reyes. For PSG, he won the French Super Cup, Inter Miami winning the League Cup, and then obviously internationally for Argentina, he has that World Cup win from a couple years back, a gold medal in 2008, Copa America from 2021. And that's not even counting his individual accomplishments, such as the golden shoes he's won, Ballon d'Or, La Liga MVP, Champions Top Score, the list goes on. But how many Piston Cups does Messi have? Zero. Strip Weathers, seven. End of discussion. It's as clear as day. Strip Weathers trumps any other athlete in sports history, rightfully making him the GOAT of GOATs.